What's a good word, y'all? It's your boy DKB here. So we absolutely have to make the call to Jason Peters uh, before the regular season kicks off, right? Uh, this may be the easiest way to upgrade one of our backup tackle options that there's going to be, right? And we could very well probably still get him in a couple weeks if necessary. We could probably wait till some kind of injury bug hits, knock on wood, um, you know, as the, the regular season actually progresses. But get him on the roster now, allow him to learn his playbook, get accustomed to his offensive line teammates. And uh, I think we have the makings of an excellent revamp of our offensive line with him easily the easiest upgrade that you can find billy turner to jason peters is a massive improvement in case something you know accidentally goes wrong with uh somebody going down whether that's long term or temporary and you're also getting a guy that at least has been able to play both sides of the fields before granted he hasn't played right tackle since you know his second uh third year in the league so why would Jason Peters be such of an, uh, an improvement here? For one, he's already understanding his place and role, not only within his career, but how he would fit in with the Jets, right? He's the one that actually initiated um, this whole debate coming up, right? He mentioned that if the New York Jets were to call, uh, I'm going to show up and show out. That's what I do. I'm a straight professional when it comes to that. Helping the young guys, if they want me to sit, you know I'll sit. What better experience for guys like Max Mitchell, Elijah Barrett Tucker, Makai Becton, uh, Joe Tittman even, than to have a guy like uh, Jason Peters here who's going to be on the, the sidelines when the defense is on the field coaching you guys up and then you now have another player coach on the field, especially in the offensive line, to, to help uh, expedite what Keith Carter is looking to execute on within that offensive line and he's done it on very talented teams uh, more recently of course and what he'll be known for is his tenure with the Eagles so for the PFF folks that love him he's still done very very well and you know he started as recently as uh, what two years ago um, when he was with the Chicago Bears 10 games so we're not talking about a guy that's kind of been flushed out of the league and he's just hanging on uh, by his bear threads I mean he was playing something like 90 I have it here 88 percent of the snaps for Chicago that was just two years ago of course things dwindled way down with Dallas but they are known to also have a ridiculous offensive line for the better part of the last decade so not completely unexpected and it would be a similar role here with the new york jets so you know you could debate numbers but it looks like about 30 percent just shy of 250 snaps or so would be what we would be looking out of uh, a guy like jason peters the contract shouldn't be crazy by any means uh and again it's going to be a slight bump up from uh billy turner but it's going to be money well deserved well earned so jason peters fantastic move for us uh you know 2022 the the season that he just came off of with the cowboys a 70.3 grade the chicago bears where he started 10 games 77.5 grade i mean this seems like a no-brainer to me personally just because we've seen uh billy turner get used and abused um this gives you a little bit more leeway, too. Uh, if Dwayne Brown ends up uh, having more problems with that shoulder uh, than necessary, if Mekhi Becton's knee issues uh, come up, uh, flare up throughout the course of the season, right? He's already mentioned that he's trying to get comfortable playing through pain, which makes me think this is either something he'll be dealing with the rest of his life um, or he's kind of still somehow rushed his way back um, from that injury earlier than expected. But... Again, Jason Peters can play the left. He can play the right. Obviously, uh, your left tackle situation is, is, is locked down. Dwayne Brown, Jason Peters there. Makai Becton on the right side. Max Mitchell over there on the right side as well. And you get both of those guys coached up. Max Mitchell probably seeing more of the benefits, just depending on how you think Makai Becton and contract extension talks will play out. Whether he has a successful season uh, or falls flat on his face doesn't really matter. It's going to be an interesting debate with him once the offseason kicks off. But, uh... I'm all for it. You know, this uh, there's not many veterans that I would, uh, you know, bang on the table for. Right. You guys have heard me on the Jets Flight Squad podcast talk plenty of times about how hard it is to go out there and find solid free agents. But uh, Jason Peters for over two decades or he's actually coming up on two decades. 
he hasn't really faltered. You haven't necessarily seen um, age catch up to him. You haven't seen him just consistently out here getting beat left or right. One of the finer aspects to his game that I would love as well, uh, which would be huge for us because we, we tend to have a pretty bad showings with this, is the fact that he's not heavily penalized. He hasn't had uh, any penalties from what I've seen uh, over the last two years, hasn't had any since his time uh, with Philly back in 2019 if the the records that i've seen are in fact true and so even if they aren't it's probably only one or two here those numbers shouldn't be super way off so plenty of benefits for both sides he gets to join a hopeful super bowl contender uh, we get the developmental aspect and uh, essentially a, a solid insurance policy at the tackle position for us. And we get to have Makai Becton and uh, Max Mitchell kind of get an accelerated course and how to be a elite tackle, uh, at least for the year uh, with his tutelage with Keith Carter, with Dwayne Brown being in the room. So hopefully we can see this happen. Um <laughs> If not, then I would say that we probably got a waiver wire edition pickup or something like that that maybe came out of left field. Uh, but as of right now, knowing what we know now, especially considering he's willing to come to the New York Jets. I know this has been a consistent theme for us this season, but that still is very new compared to how we've had to handle off seasons before I would jump on it. So let me know what you guys think about the situation and I'll catch you again. Peace. Yeah.